Hey guys, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Joy here with you. I'll be doing back to back two reviews today. And in this first episode, I would like to do Pen Elegance part. Uh, that part would be like uh, two fragrances from the official samples and uh, followed by this fragrance review, Valentino Vumo Aqua. I would like to do uh, at the same time, so I'll upload it side by side. So first of all, let's look at uh, the Pen Elegance one. Pen Elegance one, it's a thanks to my brother. Once again, Brother Tamid, he gifted me this whole sample set and there are like about 10 fragrances in there 10 different variants and i have previously reviewed three uh, you can check it out just few reviews back about uh, uh, we have uh, three reviews on three different fragrances so today uh, we're going to look at two of the fresher takes okay and i'll show you one by one uh, first fragrance we're going to look at i don't i'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name but it's i think carcass carcass i don't know q u e r cus carcass i guess i'm getting i'm i'm like guessing okay so i'm sorry if i got that wrong obviously i did so this fragrance is the first one i'm going to be reviewing so bottle design it looks like this from the leaflet it's beautiful uh bottles just like the other bottles i mean i don't find them extremely pretty or anything but they are okay this is a niche house fragrances cost you about 170 180 pounds sometimes over 200 depending on which collection you're looking at this one i believe it's somewhere like 170 pounds or dollars either one i think this is a british house so it's gonna be in pounds so let's see how this smells and who is it for and uh we'll talk about it so this fragrance i am not gonna put on my uh self because i'm wearing clinic happy for men as a scent of the evening but i got some on my hand and these are like not sprayable these are all like dab samples the stick so this this one i know the smell it's very simple fragrance and i'll tell you this is uh, <laughs> very familiar okay so this particular perfume when you sniff it you immediately think of like i have smelled this before somewhere you know first reaction was for me this fragrance carcass <laughs> i was like i have smelled this before where did i smell it it smelled like something i have something i know very well for a very long time and i was like curious i just wanted to see if my nose was wrong i went fragrantica and i saw tons of people compared this with ck1 and funny enough yes <laughs> i have ck1 i have a big 200 ml bottle this fragrance i wear it like casually you know like citrus one of my not absolute favorite but you know dumb rich sort of fragrance so this is compared to this particular perfume okay and what you get from these are very similar i mean the citrus says similar the kind of like a watery similar kind of like light cologne style similar differences between these two this has a lot more florals in my opinion it's very floral unisex so is this but i think this has a lot more florals compared to this one like white florals so what you're gonna get from this pen elegance one you're gonna get a very uh, little bit more uh, better blend you know the opening wise obviously you're paying a lot more money ck uh, i'll tell you one thing this perfume for 200 ml you can score it for below 40 dollars okay and this one 100 ml going for 170 pounds so you can see the price differences so should not should not expect same quality but this one you're gonna give like a let, let's say niche version or a little bit more uh wearable version not wearable i would say more polished version but the difference are minute you know i have it on my hand and i can smell it i like it but it's nothing mind-blowing and the fragrance performance is not that great i mean it's similar to ck1 i get like one to two hours max if i'm lucky so this fragrance is a pass for me if you talk about the price point performance these two category smell wise pretty okay if you have money if you're rich definitely you can look at it it's a summer and spring kind of fragrance citrus kind of floral and kind of easygoing watery kind of perfume okay so that is kirkus carcass for you okay the second one however is a little bit more interesting this one i also have hard time pronouncing the pronunciation wise the name you know um, this is this one at first i thought it's something in israel it's called blen blenheim bouquet or blenheim bouquet uh, see i am not good at this the names are pretty damn difficult to say but this is the perfume this is the bottle okay the presentation i think they're pretty nice they give nice box and everything but the price again it's high on this but this one i like a little bit better than the other one so this fragrance uh the, the sample looks like that okay and it's bouquet bouquet i always usually feel like uh floral bouquet you know so i was expecting something like a floral bouquet kind of a fragrance but i have no clue what blenheim is blenheim is but i'm guessing it's like a 
I was guessing it's a floral kind of a perfume, but when I tried it, uh, let's try some on my skin. This one I love to put on me. This, it's really lovely. This is for people who love fragrances like Bergamo 22, Lemon Line by Mancera, Diorum Cologne. If you like a very, ah, ah, you know, like really nice, like a lemon candy sort of, the candy drops that you find in uh, Shell or any petrol station in UK, you're driving over the motorway, you just stop by to refuel and you find this uh, canned sort of candies, you know, like a tin can. They have like a lot of candies in the powder, powdered sugar, uh, powdered, powdered sugar, powdered sugar. <laughs> so the sweet candy that is very much in flavors like raspberry, strawberry, you know, they have different berries, they have different kind of uh, fruit, citruses. This one reminded me of that. What I really get from it is beautiful, short-lived, sadly. The citrus is so lemony, so vitamin, so much like, you know, like a tart citrus, acidic. And it's a very nice, pleasant opening. But the unfortunate thing is the citrus doesn't last at all. I mean, citrus is a very pretty volatile note. I mean, even in other fragrances that I have, uh, this one literally you have to shower in this fragrance. You know, if you have a 100 ml, you have to wear literally like 20 ml per day to get some sort of performance. I've given that time. I don't think it will last you more than three hours maximum. So what I really like is that that kind of like a gingery sort of, a, you know, think of like a little ginger that has been candied. Like this has some sort of sweetness, a lot of sweetness with that kind of like the spicy uh, gingery accord, like, you know, like uh, we call in Bangladesh, like chewing ginger. You know, we have this uh, pickled kind of ginger, but not pickled. It's like dried ginger, you know, and you put some sugary coating and some syrup. So it becomes sort of like the gingery, sweet, uh, spicy lemon verbena sort of a feel and you now it's on my hand as well so this is just the smell the composition is very beautiful it's very uh, mouth-watering citrus it's literally like citrus bomb with a little bit of uh, herbal green kick later on I really like the smell if you ask me to give this a uh, mark I would actually say the smell is pretty much like what I like like lemon lime but if you like lemon and in one performance get lemon line by Merce, uh, not mercedes mancera so that is gonna last you longer even durum cologne is gonna last longer than this so overall the smell is so darn good i'll give it nine but again the price point versus the performance takes it down so both these versions that i showed you today have awful performance i'll just be honest and i don't think they are worth even like niche designer even designer if they're selling for this for over hundred dollars this is not worth it in my opinion because you're not really getting a product that you can smell for a very long time but again if you have money you can buy them and uh, so far unfortunately the th five penhaligans that i reviewed from the sample it's again could be just me i saw a few reviews they said um they do not get the best performance out of these fragrances but i am just again telling you if you have a full-on bottle sprayer experience Thing could be different like matters could be different so keep that in mind that these fragrances just sample reviews like these depth samples are just initial impression and these are like not conclusive 100 percent you know like i cannot say for 100 percent that what i'm getting is what you're gonna get give it a try the best thing always is to give it a try in the shopping mall if you see their boutique put some on your skin see walk around see how much you get performance if you get like four or five solid hours i suggest you can consider buying them but pretty damn expensive i don't think even you can get this like 150 dollars anywhere so basically pen Halligan's house so far for me uh nice try for me <laughs> but none of them are actually motivating me to go and buy a fragrance like a full-on bottle but yes upcoming days these fragrances are coming up the tragedy of uh, no what, what the tragedy of lord george yeah this one lord george this one i'm very excited about this one because the bottle looks kick-ass and this one, the Duchess Rose version. These ones, I am still trying. They have a lot more potency than this, uh, like uh, citrusy summer ones. So perhaps those are gonna be like win for me. Take care guys, now time for second review. Bye-bye.